Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing problem number 11 on Bessel's function. Welcome back friends, let us start solving problem number 11. In problem number 11 you can see integration. Now as soon as we see integration there are two formulas of integration that we have already discussed. Formula number 2 and what is the formula number 2? x raised to n j of n minus 1 x dx. See generally integration takes to the future. So this is x raised to n and this is n minus 1. Its future will be j n x. So this is formula number 2 and we have one more formula for integration that is formula number 4 and this is x raised to minus n j of n plus 1 x dx. Now here in reverse effect of integration is applicable because here it is minus n. So because of that minus x raised to minus n and generally integration takes to the future but here reverse effect it will take to the past. So these are the two formulas of integration that we have. Now let us decide which formula will be applicable here. See here formula number 2 here it is n minus 1 and here it is n that means n minus 1 and n is its future. So formula number 2 taking integration to the future and formula number 4 it is n plus 1 and here it is n that means going to the past. If you observe the problem here it is 3 here it is 1 and 2 that means these 1 and 2 are the past of the problem that is j3x that means we want to go to the past therefore formula number 4 will be applicable. Now in formula number 4, let us see what is the pattern here. Here it is minus, ignore this minus, whatever you write here, n plus 1 should be here. That means if here it is 2, it has to be here 3. So if I follow formula number 4, see here, what is the problem? The problem is j3x. To apply this particular formula, this one, I must have x raised to minus 2, see here. This is minus equivalent to this. Here it is n, here it is n plus 1. Here it is 2, here it is 3. If you write it down x raised to minus 2 into j3x, then you need to write x square. So this is the adjustment that you have to do in the given problem. And this is your given problem dx. So that is perfectly okay. Because these two terms will cancel each other and you will be left with j3x. And what is the advantage of doing this? This term will be converted into this particular formula. What next term? So this is your given i. I got converted into uh, this particular format. What next? This is u and this is v. You need to apply u into v rule. So what is the uv rule says? uv rule is u as it is integration of the second term, integration of v minus integration of derivative of u integration of v and dx. So this is u into v rule of integration. So let us do it. So here it is x square. Here you can apply formula number 4 c here. Formula number 4 is here. So what the formula number 4 says? Here it is 2, here it is 3. So that is n and n plus 1. So the result is minus x raised to minus n as it is. So it will be minus the exponential term as it is here. The exponential term will remain as it is. So here x raised to minus 2 will come as it is. And n plus 1 will become n. That will go to the past. So here we have 3. So 3 will become 2. So this integration is done minus integration of derivative of x square is 2x. Again, you can apply this particular formula. See here. Here it is 2. Here it is 3. That means the formula is applicable. What the formula says? Minus this exponential term will remain as it is. And this will go to the past. So that will become j2x into dx. Let us simplify it further. See here. This is minus this x raised to 2 and x raised to minus 2 will be cancelled. So we'll get j2x plus how plus this minus will come out and with this minus that will become plus 
2 again i am taking it outside this 2 i am taking outside this x and this x raised to minus 2 so this is actually x raised to 1 this is x raised to minus 2 will become x raised to minus 1 into j2 x dx again you can use the formula see here again you can use this formula how see here the year it is 1 and here it is 2 that means you can apply the formula so this is minus j2 x plus 2 what the formula says minus exponential as it is and it will take it to the past so 2 pass is 1 x so in short your final result will be this is minus 2 x inverse will go down and will become 1 upon x and j1 x so that is the required solution for problem number 11 hope you understood we're done with it thank you